what's the difference between a deep plane facelift and kind of a more conventional? Well, the conventional facelifts range from mini facelifts to kind of regular ones, but mainly what they're doing is lifting up the skin and either not doing anything to the next layer down or tightening it with sutures to try to reshape the underlying face. What I'm doing with a deep plane is I'm repositioning those tissues. So, and, and here's why, because as we age, it, the cheek is attached to bone. There's a ligament here called the mandibular retaining ligament. This is attached to bone, but everything in between is attached to muscle, the muscle of mastication, the masseter. The masseter runs like this. So when you're opening clothes, when you're biting or yawning, those ligaments start to stretch and they lead to jowling. So if you are trying to be anatomically and artistically precise, a vertical and ever so slightly inward rotation, the opposite of how they come down, are important to reposition these ligaments, in my experience and in my opinion. That's why I like the deep plane. The other thing is the deep plane allows you to get access to certain areas like your buccal fat, and the deep plane in the neck is important because if you don't release this muscle that causes banding in the neck called the platysma, the platysma runs from the lower edge of the jaw to the clavicle. It's a very broad but very thin muscle. You have to release that muscle from the deep tissue because otherwise the bands come right back. So if you sew them together but you do nothing to release this, the bands come back very quickly. So those are some of the reasons that I prefer to do deep plane face and neck lift surgery.